Guys, please make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake that people often make can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs, parts, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Taco, Chevy Suburban, that generation here from year 2014 to year 2020. If you need to find where the HID headlights, fuses and relays are located, where you can expect to find them, where you can guys buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why well, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, please make sure it's until the end. So before we start guys, let us tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here in the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork guys, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays uh, as well guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos. Guys, we have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs and if you guys need to buy any parts to use at a good price quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out so the HID headlights fuses and relays where can guys expect to find them we will demonstrate on this generation Chevy Tahoe Chevy Suburban right here guys now these two models will be built are practically built on the same platform so it should work for both the main difference here is that the Tahoe is a little bit shorter and the Suburban is longer and quick advice guys there will be five hidden fuse boxes in that SUV that most people nine out of ten owners do not know where they're located that's okay that's why we made a special video on our YouTube channel about fuse box location uh, on uh, Chevy Tahoe and Chevy Suburban go ahead and open the hood lucky for us we're working easy to access fuse box facing the engine on the very right side as the driver's side we have that cover <coughs> open that cover and underneath you're going to find a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. It is, guys, very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses, you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it, and you assume, guys, that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can... Uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below here guys what do you need to check now you may have all the fuses you may have some depending on which headlight option you have so we will need to check up to three different fuses we'll talk about relays in a little bit guys but uh, the first one that you will need to uh, check is fuse number 95 we're talking about these two double 10m fuse that's a micro three blade fuse guys okay it's right here this is super hard to find it could be overpriced so we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get it from that way you do not waste money and time then we may have okay uh, a few more that we will need to check guys okay specifically for that and that's known as fuse 121 so if we come in that section again we're talking about fuse 121 right here and fuse 122 these two fuses will need to be checked as well what about the relays there are some relays but they're not for headlights there is very li limited information about that actually you have some hidden relays that are integrated in the fuse box they're on the bottom side of it they are not serviceable practically welded to the board so you might have some relays there okay otherwise practically all you need to do is guys check these fuses because they're known as relay fuses so guys i want to show you now something okay check this thing out you have all different kinds of fuses 
fuses, relays, circuit breakers, something that could be really hard to find and if you're in the middle of nowhere, you don't have a replacement one, you may end up being stuck guys in the middle of nowhere or they can be seriously overpriced. So what we do, we usually buy some spare ones, we put in the glove box for a peace of mind. We'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.